What's up Nintendo Buzz fans, this is GameGuru81 here, and welcome to my newest project, um, this is Sonic Colors, that's what I'll be doing now. I'm gonna be doing Sonic Colors, and I will be still also doing Mario Kart, there will be Mario Kart videos of course, I didn't quit or anything, but, um, yeah, Sonic Colors is a new game, it came out recently, um, yeah, so I'll let you guys watch the opening first. Now props to that guy who ever made this song. This song is so amazing. I just love listening to it. Like it's so addicting to listen to. Um so yeah. This is with HD PVR quality. I'm not sure many people here on YouTube have an HD PVR. So um I recommend playing with a nunchuck and a Wii Remote, because that's what I like to play with usually. So I deleted my Sully file. And I'm going to start on that now, because... Yeah. Hello, Sonic. So we, we basically start off on Act 1, Tropical Resorts. Um, this game is really simple. You know, um, Sega, you know, people say that they haven't seen a, you know, a decent Sonic game for like eight years now. They said the last good Sonic game was Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. You know, which they're probably right. You know, because all the Sonic games after that are really, you know, epic failures. Except for, um, I think it was Sonic and the Dark Knight. That one was only good during daytime before you become the beast that Sonic is supposed to be. Like, the concept of the game is pretty stupid. But this game is just like any typical Sonic game. Like, you get to feel the speed, and then like, they have this new thing instead of, like, um, attacking your opponents. You can just hold Z on your Wii Remote and then you just dash through them. Right. Now, also, the good thing um, about this game is that it's they, they bring you the both of, you know, 2D and 3D, so you get like both things from Sonic, like any. It's like it's split into 2D and 3D. Sometimes we're like playing in 3D and then sometimes we go into 2D. So they bring you the best of both games, like both types of games. So, um, yeah. And it's best to try to collect points and stuff. And that's it. We did it. That's uh, Act 1, Level 1. And it's just like any Sonic game where they judge you with uh, letters, like they give you a letter grade as your grade. And here I got a B. Uh, the only way you can, there's like A and then there's S. The only way to get an S you have to get like an outstanding record, like you have to beat the record by a lot. Like you have to get a record that, you know, is really hard to get. Um, you can usually do it if you're really good at the game, because I did it in like a level I think in this world but the only way you could do it like naturally is by playing with supersonic because he's like really fast so here like I said the game's in 2D and uh, it's 2D right now 
then it, you know it sometimes just goes into so gotta watch out and I think there's about like three cutscenes in the beginning because I've played World One like ten times already. I've already beaten the game. It's really short. It's, well, it's not short, but it's you know, you know, average. I can't say it's long or the game's like really, really short. But you know, it's not as you know decent as I thought. You know, if they probably expanded the game and made it longer, it would have been better. So right here, I'd recommend just to click Z because you're just gonna, you know, ran through all those people, and then we did it. Let's see what I got here. A B. Now you could sit and jump on the letters. Well, I'll tell you after the cutscene. own lips flap but I gotta hand it to the eggster this place is epic everyone and their brother is gonna want to come here no doubt but now I'm not sure why we're here this place looks totally harmless because Eggman plus secretly built amusement park equals evil plot for us to foil lucky for us he's not very good at keeping things hidden true it would be pretty hard to miss a giant floating space amusement park surrounded by planets Still, an evil plot? I don't know. Wow! Plot or not, you can't be mad at this view. This place has taken beauty to the next level. I'm just surprised that it was so easy to sneak in here. Uh, I wouldn't say it was that easy. Hello, happy people! Buckle up as Eggman's ultra-accelerating space elevator whisks you to an interplanetary wonderland of fun! I can't believe somebody was dumb enough to leave the keys in this thing. It's like Eggman's begging us to sneak in and trash the place. Oh man, this thing's got crazy fast acceleration. <laughs> you call this fast? This amusement park has been constructed entirely out of a sense of remorse for my past transgressions and is in no way associated with any sort of evil plot or premeditated misdeeds. Well, that's a relief. Uh, just thinking about it makes my head feel like it wants to... Your voice chip is stuck on Cowboy again. Stop talking and net those aliens. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm sure of what I'm gonna do. Alright, well we're back and right now we're gonna save our file. I'm gonna call it Guru. Now the thing about this game that I notice is um it's still really poorly done when they come to do like the animations. I mean the the graphics look really good in the game. It's just you know when Sonic and Tails or whatever when they speak, the, the the sound does not match their mouth. It looks like it doesn't match at all. So they really did a really bad job on doing that. I mean it's not only this game. It's like all Sonic games. So those little blue things I guess are the aliens, and they give us the power to use laser, which makes us go really fast, um, which we'll be using a lot in this level. And there we use it. So we like took that thing in one second.
Oops. So every time you get one of those, you get a laser, and you'll see it at the bottom left hand corner of the screen which will which will allow you to use it and you can play this game with three different things you can use the classic controller which um, I recommend or you can use the Wii Remote or the Nunchuck and like I said because I play most of my games with the Nunchuck the only game that I haven't actually played with Nunchuck is my uh, new Super Mario Bros Wii the reason why is because I kind of like when I see the people they usually play it like I usually see them play it with just the Wii Remote so I kind of tried it and then I kind of got the hang of it and you know I was used to it since the very beginning so you know, I kind of guess that's it for this level wow. Laser. Oops. Now those little question mark thingies. If you need, oh, I epic fail at that. I tried to attempt just to use the laser and try to make it up there without getting on these staircases. Like I was saying, those um, question marks. If you use them. If you, if you hit on if you hit them they're gonna give you like a tip instead of like the chows because it's um, in Sonic like the old ones for the GameCube if you needed help there's usually like chows that give you tips so yeah so we finished this level and I ended up with an A really impressive and I get a life So yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure there's another cutscene, but I don't remember when. Right, so this is like, they made it like the like new Super Mario Bros. and Donkey Kong, where you just move around. Like, you're going to a world, like they make the levels on a circle, and you have to click A to get in. Which is smart, because I kind of like that idea. Now that whole um, ramp was just for me to get a life, so you can go on the ramp to get some lives if you want. If you don't need, then maybe you shouldn't just get on. And I keep filling. Um, just trying to get up there. Oh, and I did it. And that was it. It was really short and simple level course since I did really bad I ended up with the B all right gotta connect the framostatic capacitor to the maximizing modulation I wish I knew what you were saying little guy or gal or whatever you are Whoa! Oh man, that was crazy! Oh, I was reconfiguring my handheld into a translator so I can understand this guy. Did you go somewhere? Didn't you see? I absorbed those aliens and got powered up with, like, some kind of wild energy. And after a few seconds, they'd pop out of me. 
Uh, I find that hard to believe. Huh? Okay, seriously? We need to find Eggman and figure out how catching these aliens fits into whatever heinous plan he's hatching. And wreck that plan, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how we spend our time. And we're back. That cutscene is over. Thank God. Alright, so, Act 5. We're doing pretty good. We're on about 15 minutes in to the video. And we use laser. So I'll try to finish the boss probably in this level. If I can't, I'll for sure do it next level. I mean, next episode. I just said level out. But yeah, I'll do it next episode if I can't finish it. Fit it in this episode. Because, you know, I'm going to try to finish the game in a matter of parts. Not I'm, like, I'm not going to try to make like 50, 60 parts. Make each video like 5 minutes or so. Because that's really stupid. We're not going to get anything accomplished. So this probably has to be my favorite level. This and the first level. Just because there's not that much 2D... Um, 2Dness into the um, vi um, episode. I mean, to the video. Wow. But yeah, I just do not like the 2D because it's really hard to handle when you're playing, especially with the controller that I'm using. And I feel that that part. So let's just go. Now this game is filled with collectibles just like Donkey Kong Country Returns and uh, New Super Mario Bros. And I'm not going to be collecting them so don't get mad at me. I'm just I'm just a person when I play a new game I don't like to sit there and collect the items. So yeah guys that's basically it for this episode. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time in episode 2. Alright? So see you later guys.